Hey, sweet friend. Today I'm going to teach you how to use a wholesale line sheet. And I'm going to be using the Make Good Fashion Wholesale Line Sheet Template. And if you haven't already purchased this, you can find this at makegoodfashion.com slash shop and you can purchase yours there. And today I'm going to be taking you step by step how to use it, how you can download it and all of that. So make sure that you have your download handy and ready to go. And again, if not, go ahead and purchase it and then come back to the video so I can show you exactly how you're going to use this. OK, so once you've made your purchase, you are going to receive an email that contains the link to download your wholesale line sheet template. And so you can go ahead and press click here and then open it in your web browser. OK, and so once you have it open, you are going to get a page like this um, that says a template has been shared with you. Start designing now. Now, if you don't have a Canva, if you don't have a Canva, Canva account, it's going to ask you to create a Canva account. So make sure that you have a Canva account so that you can go ahead and start editing the line sheet template. So down here, it says edit template, and that's what you're going to click. OK, so once the line sheet template loads up, you're going to see the first page here where it says insert logo here, and then it has this what it looks like to be some land in a sky. Whenever you see this image, this is where you're going to insert your own photo. So you can insert any photo that you want for your background, or you can delete it completely and just make a solid background. And to delete it, you just press delete backspace and then click it. And then you can choose a color if that's what you want to do. But for this example, I'm going to go ahead and go back and I'm going to insert a picture. And so if you don't know how Canva works with Canva, you can cl click upload and upload your own picture. So you can upload any pictures from your brand that you have or whatever you have here and to upload files, right? Okay. Oops, so you can click upload files and then it'll go ahead and open. Upload files will allow you to upload your own photos. For the sake of this demo, I'm gonna just use some stock photos. So let's say, just pick something random, like a shot from my brand's photo shoot or whatever. So we'll just have that. And then we'll insert a logo here. So let's go ahead. And again, you can upload your logo into the photos. I'm just going to click logo and it's going to pull up my logos for me. Okay. And then we'll just use the black make good fashion logo. Perfect. OK, so you can go ahead and minimize your logo. And where it says insert font here, I mean, insert logo here, that's you can just backspace that to get rid of that and then just put your logo in here and you can leave it saying line sheet or you can change this text line sheet to like the name of your collection or whatever you want to do. At the bottom, it has this little section where it says your company, your website, your email which I like to have on the front of a line sheet. So when the buyer receives your line sheet, they have your all your contact information right on the front page so that they can access it really quick. Your website information so they can go to your website and see more photos or all of that. The next page, I like to have this page a little about the collection. So, you know, every time you create a new collection, you probably have a new concept. And if you don't, you can just put about the brand in general. So you'll use this space to talk about your collection, your brand story, and then maybe upload another little photo of, you know, some product from your brand or any of that. And so we'll go ahead and drag in a photo and then talk about the collection, right? And then the next page, let's go through from top to bottom, all these details. So here are your delivery window. This is the time that you will be shipping this collection, right? So let's say your delivery window, you'll start shipping this collection from January 15th to February 15th. You would write that here. So I would put like 115-215 and then X, which um, signifies the cancellation date is 215. And if you don't really understand a lot about the um, wholesale process at all and you're just kind of exploring all of this and you want to know more about how to get your brand into, brand into retail stores, we are creating 
an amazing course at makegoodfashion.com to teach you how to start your fashion wholesale business, to take your brand and set it up and position it for wholesale so that you can get your brand into your dream retail shops. So make sure to go to makegoodfashion.com slash courses, and then you will see just a little bio about what that course is going to be about. And right there on that bio has a button that says, join the wait list. And this will go ahead and take your email down so we can notify you when the course launches. But I promise you, you're not going to want to miss this. I have been personally working in wholesale for over, gosh, it's scary, probably like 12 years. And um, I'm really passionate about it. And so I would love to teach you how you can set yourself up and position yourself to step into this business and to generate more leads, get more customers, all of that. But that was just a side note. So delivery window, you put that in here. MOQ means minimum order quantity. So Everyone should have a minimum order quantity when we're talking about wholesale. So let's say our minimum order quantity is four pieces per style and color. You can type it, you can put here four pieces per style and color. Then we go to style name. So style name is the name that you're going to give your piece that you are putting in your line sheet. So let's say it's called the Darla dress or whatever you want to call it. That will go here. Style number is the unique number code that you're giving your product. Material, so you're going to put whatever your product's made out of. So if it's 100% cotton, that would go here. Your wholesale price, obviously, is this price that you're selling for wholesale. And then your suggested retail price would go in the suggested retail price section. Usually the markup from wholesale price to suggested retail price, typically industry standard, is times 2.2. And then available sizes, you're going to put what sizes it comes in. So if it comes in from extra small to double XL, you'll do extra small, small, medium, large, double XL. Available colors, whatever colors it's available in. And then we have this cool place for color swatches. Or if you're doing certain prints, you can put insert your print swatches or whatever. In order to do, so for color, it's easy. You can just, you know, take this. Put in whatever color matches the colors that will be available. If you want to do a if you want to do a swatch uh, of a pattern or a print that you want to insert in here, you're going to have to change the circle out into one per images, right? So if you go to element and you go to you just type in circle frame. And you click this, you'll just have to size it down, but you can go ahead and upload your print or your pattern and then insert it into one of those circle frames. Okay, and then we have three pages for you here that are already pre-made, but let's say you have more product that you want to add then we have pages ready for you. You can just click this area right here on the top right corner with the three dots. And you'll just press duplicate page and it's going to give you more pages to add on to your line sheet. So the last page of the line sheet is your order details. And this is where you're going to put in your payment terms. And so let's say, you know, you have a deposit that you require that you're going to put like maybe 30% deposit and then 70% pre, oops, 70% pre shipment which is which means this is how you require the buyers to pay. So 30% you need right up front to take the order and then 70% pre-shipment or you can do 100% pre-shipment so they don't have to pay until the goods are in their hands. And then minimum or the goods are ready to ship, right? So minimum order quantity again, we're just going to reiterate that it's four pieces per style slash color or whatever your, you know, whatever your minimum order quantity is. It doesn't have to be that. And then delivery window. So a lot of times, you know, you might have your delivery window broken up into three parts. So first delivery, second delivery, third delivery. So you can just put here whatever 
You can put it in a hole or you can break them down to in this section. You can also add more pages to your line sheet if you'd like. So just by creating, adding the plus side here, adding a page, you can drag it wherever you want. And let's say you want to have a page that just talks about the different fabrications that are, you're using. If sustainability is something that you are incorporating into your brand, you know, talking about the benefits of each fabric or whatever. Um, but you want to keep it simple. You don't want this to be like a huge catalog of like a bunch of things. You just want it to be straightforward to the point. Photos, pricing, the information that we've laid out here. You can also include larger images between each page. So if you want, you can add a blank page. Let's say you're going to upload. We'll use this photo again. We're going to upload some of your product and maybe you want to show it big you can actually right click Oops. you can actually right click and then pr press replace background and it'll do that and then you can put this in between like different larger images in between the line sheet pages because line sheets tend to have really small images so sometimes it's harder to see and if a buyer hasn't seen you know your samples in person it's nice to have a large photo maybe Sometimes I like to do this and then I'll put like the style number on the corner so that they can correlate the style number to the product in the line sheet. So yes, that is how you use our line sheet template. I hope that was helpful to you. This is the industry standards of how line sheets are formatted. And so you are in good hands with our line sheet template. Thank you so much. I hope this helps you to generate a lot of sales and to just kill it in your wholesale fashion business.